My name is Pride First Class McCottrell. That's Mike, Charlie, Charlie, Oscar, Tango, Tango, Romeo, Echo, Lima, Lima. I am with HHC, 25th Cab, and I'm a 35 Golf Geospatial Intelligence Imagery Analyst. I volunteered for this outreach event because I wanted to be able to not only support the organization that already does so much for the community, but also just to show what our Army family can do for them. It was the least that we could do just to give back, volunteer half of our day in order to help them so that they can help these children for the future. It feels amazing to be a part to help these locals only because I grew up in Hawaii for half of my life and I also enlisted out of Hawaii. So being able to give back to the family here that I call my family is a great thing for me. Um, I wanted to be able to give back to them and support all of my ohana here back home. My name is David Fuertes. Last name spelled F-U-E-R-T-E-S. Our organization is called Kahua Pa'a Mua, which means building a strong foundation. And my position is the executive director. Capital K-A- H U A capital P A Okina A capital M U A. Our organization is a nonprofit which is about eight years old. One of the projects that we have is called this mentorship program. It's called HA, like H-A, which is breath. And it's a mentorship program that gives young people opportunity to learn about agriculture in a different conventional way, which is Korean natural farming, using our own fertilizers that we make. We call it inputs. And also, um, using using what's on the farm to to uh, furnish our plants and our animals so a lot of it is growing microbes which is natural feeders in helping the plants to grow better and also for the pigs it's um assuring that there's no odor and there's no flies um and, and uh, it's a new way of, of farming, which is Korean natural farming. It's a young organization, but it's take, we have about 15 to 17 students that come on weekend and, and work with our mentors in three different areas. One, making the inputs. Two, farming vegetables and, and, and crops like taro, and three, raising animals. The relationship with, with the Army is that we want to be part of our military. We want our students to learn that people that are serving in the U.S. Army or any of the services are very important in the freedom that we have gained in the past and the freedom that we are fighting for. Um, that, that's our relationship. Our plans is if we can give back also, also to PTA, um, one, you know, if we can also help the projects that PTA are doing, we'll be happy to do that. One of the first thing that we're doing is that when they have their um, environmental uh, awareness program we're going to be bringing it up to PTA couple hogs um, in a cage that will be uh, fed the recycling of, of the mass hog um, um, garbage into feed and, and using that as, uh, as a 
um, a demonstration. If we can help the PTA in any way, uh, we're just thankful that they're willing to do community service and helping our youth. We're thankful that uh, the military, especially PTA now, you know, ha has been giving more back into the community uh, rather than just taking from the community. So I think our relationship building can be awesome, can be uh, beneficial to, uh, to PTA and also beneficial to our farm and our community. Um, Daylan Tayan, Germano, um, D A Y L A N, um, Tayan, T A Y A N hyphen Germano, G E R M A N O. Well, we created natural farming and um, animal husbandry. We take care of the animals, give them shots, um, feed them. We, we plant taro and we have some chili peppers and we use those and we uh, make some products from the taro and we sell it for our field trips and stuff. It's pretty cool to see the people who serve our country to work aside and show them what we know and, sh and they show us what they know.